I'm back in the totals game. I created a brand new model just this week that is my best model yet. This particular model altogether betting unders and overs went 59.6% in 2021, 60.7% in 2022, 58% in 2023, and so far in 2024 it's at 55.2%. In fact, last week in week five, it went nine and five. That's a 64% win rate. What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, I'm gonna give you my model picks for Sunday, October 13th, 2024. Let's get right to it. The first bets I'm gonna give you are my model spread bets. These are different than the totals, obviously. And this particular model went five, five and one last week in week five. So for this week, this particular model likes the commanders at the Ravens, the commanders plus seven points here. Jaden Daniels looks really good. This model is 62.5% confident this is gonna happen. It likes the Falcons laying six points at the Panthers. That's a big spread between two divisional opponents. Or the Colts at the Titans, giving the Colts plus two and a half, and the Bengals minus three and a half at the Giants. And the confidence level is over 55% for this model on all of these bets. We also have the Cardinals plus five and a half at the Packers. The model likes that at 55.1%. And we have the Lions minus three at the Cowboys. On this particular one, I wanna put on here, it's not quite at the 55%, so this would be more of a lean than an actual bet. However, I want to put this in this video because in my best bets video on Tuesday, I picked the Cowboys plus three at home because they're a home team before their bye week. So this particular model does not agree with that trend and that's perfectly fine. But since I already picked the Cowboys at plus three, I am not going to take this pick. This particular model also likes the Jags plus one at the Bears. That one is in London. The Saints plus three and a half at home against the Bucks. The Browns plus nine and a half at the Eagles. And then the Jets on Monday Night Football plus two and a half underdogs at home against the Bills. Now here it is, my new totals model. I can't wait to share this information with everybody. A new and improved model. It is currently a 55.2% this year overall, not just picking unders, but also picking overs as well. This model went nine and five in week five for a 64% win rate just last week. So here are my picks for the totals this week, given this particular model. It likes the unders, a bunch of unders here. The Chargers at the Broncos under 35 and a half is 62% confident that's gonna go under. The Falcons at the Panthers under 47. The Bills at the Jets under 41. Again, that's a Monday night game. And the Bucks at the Saints under 41 and a half. Now, what do you notice about all of these games? All of these games here are divisional games, which again, tend to go under. Not just that, but the totals here, the 41 and a half, the 47. Uh, I'm not as clear about the 35 and a half, but again, in a divisional game, these games tend to go under. So my model likes all of these bets at at least 58% or higher. We have a few more here. The Cardinals at the Packers under 47.0 and the Bengals at the Giants under 47.0. Again, the 47.0 is a key number to go under. And then here are the leans down here. As I mentioned on my previous slide, leans are not official bets, uh, but I'm putting them down here just in case you wanna see what my model thinks about the rest of these games. And these are all unders, <laughs> no surprise here, except for the Texans at the Patriots, over 37 and a half. That's the only over in this video. Now this model did pick the 49ers and the Seahawks to go over 40 and a half on Thursday night, which they did. On my Tuesday video, I said that game would go under 47, but that line moved up. And when it goes up to 48, 40 and a half, those games tend to go over. Finally, we have our money line parlay bet. The Packers at home, minus 295, I got this earlier in the week and the Ravens minus 245 against the Commanders. I put these two together in the Moneyline Parlay. My Parlay odds are minus 113. My Trend odds are minus 145. So I have the Packers to win and the Ravens to win together in a Moneyline Parlay bet. Now after week nine in the middle of the season, I'm gonna show you my model picks for the spreads and the totals and look at how they did for the first half of the season. I'll give you my total record on both of those models. Good luck on your Sunday best bets and your Monday night best bet. Let's go.